services, but they are also praising you, Lord. We thank you for the ability that you have given us to come here in freedom, because we know that other Christians in other places that serve, serve and worship you, Lord, are not able to do that. We thank you for the freedom you have given us. We ask that this service that we have this morning would be pleasing in your sight. We ask for those who are sick and shut in again that you bless them and give everyone who is traveling, traveling grace. Lord, we ask this through your son, Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 I ain't going to ask you how you doing because you look good this morning. Amen. It's a holiday weekend and everybody is ready to praise the Lord. So lift up your voices this morning and sing along uh, with me, all right? I, we need to uh, make the devil mad this morning. I, I got a mission to make him mad this morning. So if he, if he mess up my microphone, I don't care. If he make the lights go off today, I don't care either. So long we make him mad, all right? Uh, Y'all got it? I'm gonna hide behind, behind the mountain well. I'm gonna hide, hide behind, I'm gonna hide behind the mountain well. Don't you know I'm gonna hide behind, I'm gonna hide behind the mountain well. I'm going where the Chilling with well, they just don't blow. Oh, help me sing, Lord. I'm gonna hide, hide behind. I'm gonna hide behind the mountain, Lord. Well, you know that I'm. Yeah. 
Oh! 
God, we need help this morning. Oh, oh, oh. Ask him to help you. Yeah. Ask him to yeah. help you. 
Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you. Somebody say Jesus will. Oh, cause I know that Jesus will carry you. Oh, I know, I know, I know that a man Jesus will carry you. How many of y'all really believe that he'll carry you through right now? Oh, I know that a Jesus will carry you. See, sometimes it don't take everything for you to go through a lot of things in life. It just takes one little yes. thing. For him to carry you through. Cause I know that a Jesus will carry you. All you have to hey, do hey. is just ask the Savior. That's all right. Yeah. As soon as you come. Father, right now we come to you as humble as we know how, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you for just bringing us throughout all the storms and all the rain. Lord, we thank you for just bringing us out. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, right now. Lord, we thank you. Lord, all you have to do is just a See, the devil don't like it when you gotta ask the Lord for things. Uh, he don't like it. And I told you my mission is to make the devil mad this morning because anytime that you're not thinking about evil things, you know what the devil gets mad and he puts stuff back in your head. Yeah, all you got to do is ask the Savior, ask the Savior. Lord, I need you. Lord, I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I know that he is aware. And he do, Lord, I know that Jesus will carry you Scripture reading this morning will come from 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verses 12 through 17. He wasn't able to get Brother Jackson's, Brother Jackson, uh, St. Joseph's scripture this morning, but we are talking about sound doctrine. So we'll come from 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Verses 12 through 17. And the scriptures reads, If Christ be preached, that he rose from the dead, how some say among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? And if there be no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then our preaching is in vain, and our faith is also vain. Yea, and we have found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he has not raised up, and it so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then Christ, then, then, then is not Christ rise. And if Christ be not rise, your faith 
is vain. And yet, and ye are yet in your sins. May Lord bless you to the reading and the doers of his words. Good morning, church. Good morning. Stand with me if you can. Responsive reading will be taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 15 through 18. I shall read verses 15 and 17. The congregation shall read verse 16. And together we shall read verse 18. And in this confidence, I was minded to come unto you before this. You may have a second benefit. When therefore I was thus minded, did I decide lightly for the things which I propose, purpose, I do purpose according to the flesh. With me there shall be a yay yay and nay nay. But God is true. Our word to our people is not day and day. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearing to the reading of this word. <coughs> Let us all grab the hand of the person next to us. Let us go to God in prayer. Dear Lord, <coughs> our God, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed is thy name, dear Lord. Father, you have blessed us this morning to be here at the Kingsley Terrace Church of Christ. Given us a day that we've never seen before, dear Lord, but a day that we're just so thankful to be within it. Father, you have given us many marvelous works. You've done wonders and miracles, things for us, dear Lord, that we can just stand in awe of. But we just have to say thank you. Thank you, God, for giving us our being. Thank you, God, for giving us our families. Thank you, God, for giving your love unto us that we can learn how to love one another. Oh, dear Lord, we just are just so delighted that you've given us your son, Jesus, this morning. As we sang songs earlier, yield not to temptation, dear Lord, and just ask the Savior. Father, you know, by giving your son, Jesus, to be sacrificed for us to have a chance for eternal life, Father, we are just saying thank you for that thank you to you that we have believed upon him. And we obeyed that form of doctrine, dear Lord, and were baptized into Christ for the remission of our sins. Father, it was your grace, your mercy, your tender kindness, your love, dear Lord, that allows us just to be here as filthy rags. But, Father, we can have that inheritance that we stand in need of. Oh, dear Lord, just thank you for this weather. It's hot. Yes, Lord, it's going to be cold in a minute. But, dear Lord, it's hot right now. And we just want to say, even though it's in the 90s, we're saying thank you. Thank you for giving us shelter. Thank you for giving us water. Thank you for giving us ice. Thank you for giving us the ability to find shade, dear Lord. Because, Father, when old man winter comes, we're going to be saying once again, thank you for the heat. Thank you for the building. Thank you for the towels and the clothes and everything and the blankets, dear Lord. Because, Father, we know that it all comes from you. <coughs> Father, we have to be able to adapt. How do we adapt, dear Lord? By, first of all, surrendering ourselves unto you and being thankful for everything that you've given unto us, dear Lord. It is not of our doing, dear Lord. It is of your will. Father, we also pray for our members here at the Kingsley Terrace Church of Christ. Father, we have many members here. But Father, we are all one in Christ. Thank you for the love that they share. And Father, we also have those who are ill and sick and there's bereavement throughout our congregation. Father, we ask a special prayer for Sister Brenda Snort. The, the, the bereavement that she had in her family. We also pray for Sister Lodora Jackson, dear Lord. But also, Father, we pray a special prayer for Sister Vera Fitzgerald. Yes. Father, we know that she's going through some tough times, and, and Father, you know how to make a way out of no way. And Father, you can give us the encouragement. And Father, you can give us the opportunity to share with their family members how much we love and how much we appreciate them. Because, Father, we're not in this alone. We're all in this together. Yes. Father, we pray for this dear city of Indianapolis. <coughs> Oh, Father, there's some things going on around here, things that we don't like. But, Father, you can make sense out of this nonsense that's happening, Lord. 
Father, allow us to love one another. Allow the guns to be put down, dear Lord. Allow the fighting and, and the, the strife and the emptiness and the stealing and the murders, dear Lord, to be eliminated from the city of Indianapolis. Father, just be with us and let us be of love and, and kindness and tenderheartedness and, and just able to uplift one another when another person is down. Oh, Father, we also pray for our elders here, dear Lord. Our leadership that we have here at the Kings of Terrace Church of Christ, it is a standard for their brotherhood, dear Lord. We've got good leaders, good elders, dear Lord. We have great deacons, dear Lord. We, we, we have a strong minister in Brother Hubbard, who I know is going to be preaching to us on today. But also, Father, we have a great, great youth minister in Brother Dexter Smith. That boy can sing, dear Lord. He can, he, he makes Satan out of this house. Because, Father, we're singing songs unto you, and we believe that the things that he is singing and sharing is leading us so we can put, put our cares and burdens aside, dear Lord. Father, we just want to say thank you, Dexter, for you and your family being here and added part of this congregation here at Kingsley Terrace. Oh, Father, there's many things that we stand in need of, dear Lord. Father, we, we pray for the singles ministry. We pray for the seniors ministry. We pray for all the things that go on because there are so many activities that everyone here who is visiting with us today can be part of. Father, it is not our will, it is your will. And Father, let us just uplift and edify one another in everything that we do. Father, we know we're holding hands of the people that are next to us right now. Squeeze them a little tighter and just say, brother and sister, I love you. Brother and sister, I care for you. And brother and sister, I am going to continue to pray for you. These blessings we ask in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Let everyone say amen, 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 amen. and amen. 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 Uh, there is a song that I, that we did a couple of Wednesdays ago. Uh, it's called "Let Your Love Shine Down." Do we have that? Let your love shine down. Raise your hand and so I can see if we got it. We got it. Dim the lights just a little bit as you can. And it should say, we are calling our Father in heaven. So we are calling our Father in heaven. We are uh, asking and we are pleading. That's how we're going to go with that. So we are calling and we are calling up there. Let your love shine down. All right. <coughs> Sopranos, stand on your feet if you will. You a soprano, come on, come on, come on, sopranos. Come on, sopranos. We are calling our Father in heaven. We are calling our Father in heaven. Let your love shine down on us. All right? So it's easy, okay? Soprano, what you're going to do? We are calling our Father in heaven. We are calling our Father in heaven. Let your love shine down. Our 
Father in heaven, let your love shine down on us. Your love, just let your love shine down on us. Again, Timbers, y'all, listen to me. Where we are calling our Father in heaven, we are calling.
But on today, we're blessed to have with us the one and only Jack Evans Jr. Did he bless you last year? Oh, oh man. The power of the word he shared with you on last year. He, he travels literally around the world. I'm sure he shared with us some of the great trips he's been doing lately and, the, and just the great work that he does across this fellowship. Uh, he's a man who needs no introduction because many of you have heard of him and met him. And his father, his father's name precedes him, but he has his own name and does his own work and the work he's been doing even here with us last year was so powerful. Uh, it was so nice we had to do it twice. So we're thankful for God to have blessed him be here. Also, we keep him for the hinds in your prayers. He's uh, in, in Louisville, Kentucky uh, this morning. Uh, his sister is there and he's busy with her. So I ask you to keep that family uh, in your prayers. He expects to get back sometime this evening. So we're asking God to protect him and keep him until he's back in our presence again on this evening. Uh, Y'all blessed this morning? Yes. If you're blessed, I invite you to stand. <laughs> Look at somebody next to you. Shake their hand, give them a hug, and tell them, I am blessed. Talk to them.